Welcome back to Breaking Today. My name is Joel Church and Sign Language Interpreter is Teresia Washira. Moving on, could it be that excessive day sleepiness is a cause of concern? Well, our reporter Harish Mayer brings us the story of rare sleep disorder known as narcolepsy, which is characterized by an extreme tendency to fall asleep whenever and wherever. Take a look. 33-year-old James Washira, living with narcolepsy, shares his experience of what excessive daytime sleepiness feels like for him. Immediately when I joined Form 1, I was sleeping every lesson. Now it attracted the attention of the teachers. They were very furious about me. I was being punished each and every, less, each and every day. But after doing the first exam, I performed well. So the harassment minimized, but they still some of them, they couldn't buy, buy that. Changing schools, visiting doctors, no one could diagnose him correctly with tests showing he was okay. But the stigma was still unrelenting. There was a lesson we are doing in the morning and one of the teachers had to tell me to go out and a follow the lesson when I'm outside through the window so they, they can see whether I'll stop sleeping but I couldn't. The, the, the sleep is so deep even if you, pour, you put me in water I just sleep. At times Washira experiences weakening of the muscles and stammering that alerts him he's about to fall into deep sleep. You see like how I'm seated in a comfortable chair can come <laughs> it's a new, yeah any time uh -huh. but when I'm up and about up and uh, so maybe twice a day or thrice a day when I'm busy but when I'm seated every maybe an hour he says long concentration and working in an office is a challenge due to the disorder and with COVID-19 it has not been easy today the husband and father of two manages the disorder by taking short naps. His day comprises of selling phone accessories from one place to another, which besides keeping him awake, the walk is an alternative for the expensive drugs that those with narcolepsy use to stay alert. He advocates that the Ministry of Health should fund the condition, create more awareness, adding that they should recognize them as disabled. Dr. Peter Muthinji, neurophysiologist, describes the disorder as neurological. Most people have the joke, they will laugh and they joy. People with cataplexy in may, instead of laughing and enjoying, they lose tone. And they may, in the worst scenario, they may collapse and fall. But often they will be just have their jaw sag or you can see they lose their neck uh, muscle uh, contraction, they just sag. Most people would go to bed and within 5, 10, 15 minutes they'll sleep. People with narcolepsy will go to bed and then instead of settling to sleep, they start seeing vivid images uh, and they, they can be quite real. He adds, to manage the rare disorder, one should accept the diagnosis and take prescribed medications. It is not known the exact cause of narcolepsy and to death, it is estimated globally that just one in 2,000 people suffer from the rare disorder. Reporting for Switch TV, my name is Harriet Chimea.